Welcome to the Podness with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Shit that pisses me off about Ye is he's so uh stupid. He makes me torn because he does so much dumb shit that I'm just like, yo, get him out of here. And then mm-hmm. he also has these other points that I'm like, okay. Like the Adidas shit, I kind of understand his beef with him. I think that's stupid as hell to go in there and play a point. I don't know how that's gonna get your I don't know how that's gonna resonate with these business. Caucasians that are looking at you like, yeah, that's why we didn't fuck with you that hard in the first place. I mean, we're gonna keep using your designs. Fuck you. Um, but with Kanye, he's just always saying something to get canceled. Um, and in looking at cancel, uh, he recently got banned off of uh Twitter, I think it was, like Trump did. Yeah. Um and him, and along with a lot of other people lately, um, you got Andrew Tate, Sneeko, um, you had Trump la- uh, last year. You you know what I'm saying? You have several celebrities that get their Instagrams taken down. Um, and I guess my question to y'all tonight, or my discussion I wanted to have with y'all tonight is like, as, you know, we creators in this space as well, what, you got the First Amendment. You know, everybody got the right to say what they want to say. But when... Should people be banned from a platform based on their words, not their, not their songs being taken off a platform, but like literally their spoken words? Should their spoken words be banned, or should people get banned for that? I think, um, all right, with the First Amendment, you're you have freedom of speech, but that freedom don't keep you away from consequence, and I think. After a while, um, if your freedom of speech if it is it inciting something that may cause uh, detriment or your just detriment to society in general or harm in general or whatever, then that's what we need to start looking at what you're saying and if it's exactly is if, if it's your words that are inciting this, then yeah, I think you should be banned. But it, it should be one of those things where we take a good fine comb um, look at it because that's where it gets risky because you don't want to get all willy nilly with banning stuff because then that way you you are taking away free freedom of speech. But yeah, I think in certain situations it should be it should be some type of censorship. If it's not banned, uh, there's some. It should be some type of censorship or something that's like they'd be doing the fact checking stuff when people say stuff. It should be doing. It should be something like that, <clears throat> or it should be some kind of penalty, like Alex Jones with the Sandy Hook shit. That actually leads me to my next question. Uh, based off of what you said, uh, Pat, um, you said that it should go as far as. Uh, people inciting people. Like if it, if it gets to that point where people are inciting people to do stuff, uh, then it should be taken down or they should be banned. Um, when it comes to something like that, do you think spoken words really cause dangers? Like, do you really think? Now, what? Now, when I'm talking about this, I think there's a difference between threatened, like something that breaks a law, right? Like it's against the law for someone to say, go attack the Capitol. That becomes treason and that becomes a whole lot of other mm-hmm. stuff that's actually written in the law. But what I'm talking about is like uh what you see people getting banned for talking about, not doing, but talking about topics like uh Judaism or talking about topics like <laughs> or talking about topics like um even gender relations, uh, all of that. Like, there's people that are getting banned for stuff that are not actually like directing anybody to do anything. They're more just giving their opinion. How do you? That think, I don't think that people. That I don't think. 
on the airwaves about something that may be a controversial topic or a topic that you disagree with? Do you think that that same? That I don't. I don't think we should be banning that for. I think that should be open to conversation. Um, and in in general, I feel like with these banning, with certain things, it's like even if I don't agree with you, I still want to hear your side of it to see if there's somewhere we can make some type of compromise or we can see, get some type of agreement or whatever. I don't think those conversations should be banned at all. Like, I think the reason why they're being banned is because we're in this age where people are in their feelings too much or whatever. And then when somebody feels some type of way, they start reporting stuff, which or start making just start putting a light to stuff and putting their perspective in a way that it villainized the person or whatever even if they're just saying it. now also it may come off you know when people be in these these live chats and in and their own space or whatever they get hyped up or whatever and then they start talking any and any every type of way they get a little less pc because they got comfortable or whatever you know, that's just bait for, you know, people to just take that segment and just blow it up into whatever the whatever they want to do. You know, whatever they whatever way, whatever perspective they want to put on their videos about these people or whatever, they can flip it any type of way. And you know that with just video editing editing in general, you can cut whatever you want to cut and then just, you know, put whatever you want off of. Excuse me, I almost fell on my ass with this seat. <laughs> but yeah, I had moved a different way, almost like fell off the side, but I'm good. <laughs> uh, why you got that face? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, even that uh, up. Uh, well, with that being said, and Face, uh, being back, uh, face. Do you think people should be banned from a platform based on their spoken word, like their opinion? Um, and do you think that people giving their opinions on controversial topics can cause dangers in real world? No, and then yeah. Um, I don't believe you should ban anybody from a free platform. Like, if they got a voice and people are willing to listen, let them speak. Shit. Is up to the listeners. You feel me? That's just like you tell the motherfucker on the on the corner, that's them preachers on the corner. They can't do that. People drive by them every day and ignore the hell out there. Sit out there with megaphones, signs, everything. And that's People are Israelites. Yeah. Anybody, you feel me? You go to some cities, they got them all got a different a different set on every four corners of the intersection. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. People ignore them every day, but then again, you have those few people that stop and choose to listen to them because of whatever they spitting is hitting the air with them. It resonates. I mean, I feel like um banning. I never see a need to ban nothing. As far as when it comes to rhetoric or voice or person, ignore it. It's even worse. Allow them to have that voice, but give them no attention. When you ban them, you're giving them more attention. You're making it. You're making it that hot thing. Oh, I can't. I ain't supposed to see it. I gotta see it. I gotta hear. It. What's going on? Why, why is it banned? When they ban, we just don't pay no attention to it. Oh, uh, okay. So no one gives it no no focus, no attention, no publicity, no nothing. It fades away. Just like some TV shows that motherfuckers that came on, supposed to be the hot thing. A few weeks later, want no new episodes because want to buy pants. Yeah. 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 Um. That's just me. I think uh, when it comes to the banning piece, I think unless somebody is threatening 
or directly giving direction for somebody to do some to t- some type of a criminal activity. I don't think anybody should be banned. I think you may want to pull a video down if if you like own a platform. To me, I think that would be more apropos. Like I'll just take the video down itself, but don't stifle the person's complete voice. Um, I think a lot of To me, a lot of the issues is that people don't want to talk. So that creates these sects of people that are like, uh, they get into these little cabals and they brew by themselves because they don't have a platform. Like the reason you have these extreme fringes is because them people feel like there's nowhere for them to have conversations honestly about whatever they feel in mainstream society and then they begin to continue to feel like i don't have a place i don't have a place and one of the main human needs on maslow's hierarchy like is the need for like self-actualization to actually like feel like you belong or have a purpose or a place in your environment so like when you keep marginalizing people's words like everybody feels something now whether it may be a sign of mental illness Let's have that conversation so we can establish that and get the person the help they need. If it's a sense sense of like this person has like it's an environmental thing. They grew up a certain way, they background and they place they grew up fed them certain messages all their life. That's all they know. And let's have a conversation so that they can learn more and start to open their minds. But like you got to have a conversation like we got to have men and women be able to sit down and have conversations without it being or or have their talking points out there without it being shut down. Let the conversation go. Anything that's illegal, remove that piece, but still leave the person the ability to make the content. Like, I don't agree with a lot of the people that get banned, but I also don't think that they all should be banned. I don't think Boosie should be on IG with him and his son doing some of the stuff they was doing. But as a parent, I also respect his right as a parent to do what he feels necessary. And unless he did, if he's doing something illegal, then go arrest him or deal with it that way. But don't shut down his ability to have a place to have his voice heard because miss out on conversations that society needs to have. We need to have talks about the P word, the R word. Uh, We need to have talks about racism. Um, classism. We need to have talks about gender relations and these new uh, classes of genders. Like we need to have all of these conversations because if not, then you keep ending up with these crazy nuts that end up going and shooting up places or they go out and they beat people at night or they lynch or they become terrorists or these type of things because they keep getting pushed away. No, you can't say nothing. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Get out of here. We don't want to even hear what you got to say. Hear Everybody about. needs to hear. Everybody needs to hear. Just yeah. a listening ear. Now, as individuals, we all got the right to listen to the things that appeal to us. There's things on the opposite side of the spectrum of thinking that I often still want to find myself drawn to listen to, even if I end up disagreeing, just so I can better understand why somebody thinks that. Like, I may not always agree with the what, but if I can at least understand the why, then I can find some common ground, and then I can start to, like, okay, now I can take myself out of the feeling piece or how I feel about what they're saying, and I can actually start dealing with what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you know the background or something, even if you disagree, you still understand how they got to that point. So now you can have a real conversation as opposed to you just coming in with biases and preconceived notions. Like, So I think like you stifle that when we um, do that. Um, but I do think that there is a line that should be drawn on, again, like what should and should not be allowed to be said online. What do y'all like, think? Whatever. Like parameters and context, like parameters yeah, to like, what is allowed. You can't say that. Come on, bro. Like that's just societally damaging. What do y'all think that line is? Um, it, it's a hard line to toe. 
um, or even define because what offends one person don't offend another person. You feel me? Well, one person told you fine with you can watch all day, every day. Uh, a person, a couple of their eyes with is all taboo too. So that line is it, it, it's hard to draw in reality. Online is is easy to draw online because different platforms you can do different things, and it be, could be all based on the criteria of the creators of the platform. And if you don't uh, follow their suit, you just can't post your shit. And that would be fair because if they own the platform, they can set their parameters of whatever they feel is suitable for their platform. But excuse me, if it's a free flowing platform with no no criteria, criteria, yeah. anything goes. It's the like the wild wild west. If you want to see it, you can't. If you don't, go on past it. Nah, so I mean that. To even try to define that line, I feel like you're going to make a whole bunch of people mad making the line. At the same time, a whole bunch of people going to be happy. But that's just like in life. You can't ever make everybody happy with anything you do. So, shit. Right. You want to start, we got to draw the line. Started with indecency. You feel me? Started with that. Go to from there, go to riot speech. Shit like that. Yeah. Things that maybe make people want to riot. And shit like that. Like that shit from January 6th. That shit shouldn't have been allowed. You feel me? But that's just me. Anything with children involved, that should be yeah. allowed. Yep. I, I would say that I, I feel like it should come down to like, I feel like the laws we have in society that we have on the books, if we enforce them the same way online, we don't have a problem. Like, I don't necessarily think it's societally good for people to be online showing kids how to cook crack. But I also know that that's illegal in everyday life. So like, get those folks. Mm -hmm. Um, the P word that's never good. That's what with kids, that type of thing. You know what I mean? Like that's never okay. So people that are speaking on those type of things, remove that content for sure, and deal with them in the law. Like use that ev as evidence and get them the fuck up out of here to South Carolina with you. Um. Mm -hmm. I think basically like use the laws. Like if it's a law in everyday society, it's illegal for me to assault somebody in real life. So I shouldn't be able to show me murdering somebody or purposefully harming somebody in everyday life. Now it's not illegal to do S and M. If somebody want to have a site and that's what they want to show on their page or whatever, Maybe have like some, you know, child pri privacy thing <clears throat> the same way you could with any other website that's meant for adults only. You put the privacy stuff on there and that, and they behind that, but like, don't ban that stuff. Like, I think if, if you're doing something illegal, ban that shit. It's illegal to threaten people. It's illegal to incite a riot. It's illegal to um make false claims on somebody. Like these are all laws that are on the books that can be enforced. Even if they're done in an online platform, it's still the same thing. You feel me? And it should be treated the same way. If somebody putting out a bomb threat, talking about they trolling, nah, lock their ass the fuck up like you would if they yelled out bomb in the middle of a fucking movie theater. Or they called in over the phone. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's Before all the same the shit. Phone. It's still communicating the same and having the same effect. But I don't think that something like Dave Chappelle making jokes about transgender people, whether you agree with his jokes, disagree, agree with his opinion on transgenders or disagree, I don't think that that is what's making people beat up transgenders. I think we need to deal with the conversation as a society of like, what is it that's actually causing that? Because a lot of it is stuff that's rooted in stuff that ain't got nothing to do with Dave Chappelle or Joe, any comedian, any talking point online. It comes from them people are 
for one, either they have mental health issues themselves. So there's something wrong already that's making them because the average person that's saying, even if I don't like you, my first thought or my thought isn't to go out and attack people. And even yeah. if that thought crosses your mind, a sane everyday person has filters that they go through like, that's not rational. I shouldn't do that. That's against the law. That's wrong. I could hurt somebody. I don't mean to hurt. Like, you go through these processes because you're sane. If you're already out here willing to be a suicide bomber and attack or somebody beating somebody up in the alley in the night, somebody out here doing these things, like, there is something wrong there. Even to the point of, like, if you're online robbing folk, like, uh, astronaut, what is his name? <laughs> Whatever. The astronaut. <laughs> Like, even if you out here doing that online with your video, there's laws against robbery in real life. If you're in the middle of, like, these are things that are not acceptable when we out here in public. So why are they acceptable online in the same place to be something that you're now banning? Like, don't mm -hmm. ban it unless it's illegal. Somebody saying the word faggot is not illegal in most places. So even if you don't like that word, I personally don't agree with the use of that word. But somebody using it is not doing something that would get them locked up or banned in society. In society, they would still be walking around that same public square. They would just face the same <clears throat> in the real world. Somebody may hear that and punch them in the face. But that would happen in real life. You would have somebody in the crowd mm -hmm. that doesn't have those filters that would say, I'm going to attack him. Hmm. I, these are things that happen in real life. That doesn't mean we should completely ostracize a person from society because the point they bring up or that interaction even may make a conversation that we need to have that pushes us forward as the majority who are the same rational people who can disagree and not go out and riot or who can hear a joke and not use that as a jumping point because we agree with the joke to go hurt people. Like, I don't think that that's the majority of people. I think those are the fringe nuts that we make because we shut them up. Am I? IMO. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Then I say it trying to ban those people and going after that people, you can use that energy to go after the actual people that's doing bad shit. Indeed. That too. Indeed. But yeah, bro, it's getting close to that time. What did I say? I'm sorry. I disregard. I hope I hope the recording cut that off somehow or whatever. I, I don't even think I really heard whatever you said anyway. Great. Hope you did. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I caught it. It was horrible. We're going to just keep it moving. Shut up, Faith. That's um, cool.